Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Scribble Maps, which provides a great way to create a custom map without having to create an account. Let's go ahead and get started. So the great thing about Scribble Maps is that you can actually draw a freehand on top of the maps when they load. There is a Scribble Maps VIP, which will get rid of the uh, banner advertisements on the right hand side, but we're going to use the free version here. So let's go ahead and first look at the type of maps that we can use as our base. We can use a hybrid, a satellite, train map, or a road map. We use a hybrid there. You can also change from using the Google Maps as your base to using one of the other tools like the Esri map. This is a slightly different view. So you can pick whichever one will work best for you and your students. So I'll use the Esri topography map here, and I'll zoom in here on the United States. And now I'll go ahead and do some freehand drawings. Let's scribble on the map. And I might circle in there. And then I can put in any kind of place marker that I want from this menu. And you can see all the different numbered place markers that you could use. Uh, I really like the flags, uh, so flags of the world. Right? If I want to put a flag, for example, in Canada, right? you could say Canada. Right? And we'll save that, and now I can go and put a different place marker in. There's standard place markers. You don't have to use any of the uh, more funky ones. We can do the paddle, push pin. Let's just do a push pin in blue here. We'll put it right at the top. Okay. And we'll say Mount Katahdin. And we'll say it's the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. And you'll notice you can customize the placement by changing your latitude and longitude coordinates if you want to. Uh, now we can also add in a YouTube video, we can add in links, uh, we can add in SoundCloud music if we wanted to, or you can add in an image. Now to add your image it does have to be hosted online somewhere and you have to hot link to it. So it needs to be an image that you own perhaps in your Flickr account or something like that and you can link to it. Uh, let's go ahead and add a video. If you want to add a video, just copy in a YouTube link and save it. Now if we want to save this entire map, we'll go down here to the left hand corner and we'll say get embed. And it's going to ask us to save it. Let's title this map. We'll just call it a sample map. Let me just say it's a demonstration. I'll turn on the autosave function. If you want to set a password for your map so that you can go back in and reuse it later or modify it later, you can put in your password. And now let's save the map. And when you save the map, you have a variety of ways that you can now share it. You can give people a link to the image, give them a link to the actual map. You can save the map as an image, save it as a PDF. You can generate it that way. Which would be really convenient if you needed to print off copies of the map to use in your classroom. So now just download that PDF, or that PNG I should say. And now we see just that section of the map. If we go back into this get embed function, we can go back in and we can say we want to get the embed code and we can specify how large we want that to be. If we want it to be the interactive map, you can change your theme from light to dark and then copy the code. And then you can place it in your blog post or in your website just like you would copy and paste the embed code from a YouTube video. 
So that's Scribble Maps. It's a quick and easy way to create multimedia maps. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetech4teachers.com.